Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How are you? This is Freddie Ewan, two-time GM of the year, 2022 Pantheon Cup champion, 2023 regular season champion and host of the TPFF KAL show. It's been a while. We are in March. Uh, Super Bowl just got over uh, a little bit over a month ago. Can't see. Chiefs went back to back. Um, but fantasy football is not too far away. The season is starting to get on. In the TPFFKL, we got some uh, trades starting. Uh, Rich is trying to trade Jordan Love. Um, tells me uh, I have no tradable players, so he's not going to trade them to me, but told me I needed a starting quarterback, and he wants, you know, uh, some of my cap room, which is $66. Regardless, big day yesterday in the NFL. Free agency started. Uh, some crazy stuff going on. We're going to talk a little bit about the fantasy impact of some of these trades. We're going to get into the NFL draft a little bit as well. We're going to talk about the fantasy impact of those players just really quickly. And I think the first one we have to talk about is uh, Kirk Cousins going to the Atlanta Falcons. Um, Kirk Cousins right now, I think, is kind of like a fringe um, quarterback one with Minnesota. I am looking and people are saying that it's going to be a positive impact for him going over to Atlanta. And I, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think that, you know, Cousins is coming off a tour ACL. Um, he's got, you know, some running backs there, Bajan Robinson, who was, you know, kind of, uh, kind of under, ex under, under exceeded expectations last year, you know, didn't, didn't have that uh, great of a year. I think that Arthur Smith had a lot to do with that, you know, with his play calling and just not giving him the ball. Um, the, the tight end on that team, I forget his name, but you know, it's like, there's really no receivers on the Falcons. Um, you know, cousins is not passing to Justin Jefferson anymore. He's not passing to that great tight end on Minnesota. Um, so I, I really don't see how cousins is going to be a positive fantasy impact on the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, he is something that I would not consider drafting right now or picking him up. I just don't see him throwing for, you know, 300 yards a game and four touchdowns to four different guys. It's going to be an interesting offense, but, you know, unless Atlanta really does something in the draft, which I don't think they're going to do with the eighth pick, I think they're going to go defense with that. Um, I don't think Cousins is going to be a good fantasy impact. Uh, next, Russell Wilson going over to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Russell Wilson is um, – not a number one QB right now, but I do think that Wilson right now going over to Pittsburgh after what, you know, not working out in Denver, Denver basically just cutting him and taking the cap hit. Uh, you know, Deontay Johnson, George Pickens are still over there. He's going to have to fight for the job with Kenny Pickett. But I think Wilson is, I think Wilson has some gas left in the tank. Um, he's not someone you're going to draft probably, but I think as a good backup quarterback, I think you're going to be surprised that Wilson does a lot better in Pittsburgh than he did in Denver. Um, God, running backs have been crazy, crazy. Um, let me start with Saquon Barkley. I think that Saquon Barkley on my Philadelphia Eagles, I think that that's a go. I think he's going to get a lot more. Um, he's not going to be the focal point of that offense anymore. He's not going to get as many goal line touches as uh, Jalen Hurts is still going to get the uh, tush push and whatnot. But, um, you know, the offensive line on the Giants was just absolutely horrific. You know, um, Daniel Jones, there was no wide receivers on the Giants. You know, anytime Barkley was on the field, they knew the ball was going to Barkley, you know, anywhere anywhere, anytime. Um, and uh, that's going to be different with him on the Eagles. Eagles have a great offensive line. They have a very great quarterback. They got great wide receivers, great tight end. I think you're going to see Barkley get the, get better numbers he did next year than he did with the Giants last year. And as long as he stays healthy, but, you know, at the same time, you know, he's with the barrel offensive line. He's, he's going to be less replied on my on. He is not CMC, but I think if any running back who's who's closest to what CMC can do, I think Barkley is probably it. And I think he's got some gas left in the tank. I'm an Eagles fan, so you know I'm I could be speaking out of my ass here, but you know, I think it's a great I, I think it's gonna be very interesting what happens in Philly. Uh just looked right now, this very second, Derek Henry signing with the Baltimore Ravens. I'm giving that a thumbs up. I think Henry is going to, uh, you know, Henry's up there. He's got a lot of miles on the tank. But once again, going to Baltimore, a uh, 
team with a great defense. They got kind of a run run happy offense with Lamar Jackson doing a lot of running down there. Uh, not a, not a lot of great wide receivers on that Ravens team, but they do have a very good offensive line. I think Henry's going to be a uh, plus on that Baltimore team. Uh, I think that's a big pickup. I think he's going to do a lot better than he did on Tennessee. He's got a lot of gas in the tank, just like Barkley does, you know, but I do think that um, Derrick Henry, it's going to be positive with him going over to Baltimore. Um, Gang on some other running backs, Joe Mixon, trade to the Houston Texans. I like this a lot too. Uh, You know, Mixon had done a good job for uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati went and signed Zach Moss. Uh, you know, Damian Pierce was really did nothing for uh, Houston last year. It was Devin Singletary who was getting most of the yards and most of the carries. And, and Singletary did a really good job. But, you know, C.J. Stroud, that offense looks good. I think Mixon's going to be a plus. Um, he's got a lot of wear and tear on it, too. Aaron Jones to the Minnesota Vikings. Don't like Aaron Jones at all. I think it's going to be a negative impact with him going over to the Vikings. Vikings don't know who their quarterback is yet. Um, Alexander Madison is still there. Madison, you know, didn't have quite the year that anyone expected with Minnesota. Uh, Jones is still a good player. Still, you know, Jones can still put up a ton of yards and still do really well. But, you know, I just think with Jefferson still there, you know, the quarterback situation, not knowing who that quarterback is, I think Jones is really a gas. He a better situation with him in Green Bay. Um, Aaron Jones is not someone that I will look to be drafting. This next one is definitely someone I will not look to be drafting. Austin Eckler going to the Washington Commanders, probably going to uh, share some time with Brian Robinson. But uh, Eckler had a, you know, I know he was hurt a little bit of last year, but he also had a horrible season with the Chargers. Um, and before that, the year before that, you know, I mean, Eckler was the, the you know, second guy off the, the second running back off the board and a lot of things behind CMC. And it's like, uh, you know, the slope down, he might not even be, a, be worth a draft pick now. Um, and if he is, it's going to be like a late eighth, ninth, eighth, ninth round flyer. But I do not see Austin Eckler doing a whole lot there. Um, Washington's going to draft a quarterback in the draft. They're probably going to get a, um, you know, Drake May or something like that. They're going to have to rely on Eckler. Their offensive line isn't that good, though. And um, I really just see him as a really low end running back, too. Gus Edwards going over to the Los Angeles Chargers. Yeah, you know, I think their new coach is going to do some things. But, you know, Gus Edwards, eh, I don't know. He he would have been a little bit better off at Baltimore. So I really don't think that Gus Edwards is going to do a whole lot with the Chargers. Same thing with Devin Singletary going to the New York Giants. Singletary was a uh, stud last year for the Houston Texans. Now on the Giants, Giants have a bad offensive line. They have uh, quarterback issues. They're probably going to draft a wide receiver in the um, with the sixth pick. But they got a lot of questions. I don't think Singletary is going to do a whole lot. Uh, Antonio Gibson going to the New England Patriots, same thing. Really don't see a lot. Josh Jacobs going to the Green Bay Packers. I like this. I like this. Um, you know, Jordan Love was on fire last year. You know, had these young wide receivers that he was passing to. Uh, Jacobs kind of had a down year with um, – the Raiders, after the year before, he had a fantastic year. I think this is a bounce back for Jacobs. I think it's a good situation. Um, Green Bay Packers have a good team, good offensive line. They're not going to have to rely on him as much as the Raiders did, and I, I think he's going to be able to put up some good numbers. Uh, Tony Pollard over the Tennessee Titans. Don't like this one either. I thought Pollard had a really off year with Dallas after a year before. He was excellent, but um, – Really, uh, Tajay Spears looks really good on uh, Tennessee. I think he's going to share the ball with Pollard a lot and um, and really don't see Pollard doing much. I think Pollard is going to be kind of like a guy catching out of the backfield, but I, I am not putting so much of an emphasis on Tony Pollard. DeAndre Swift going to the Chicago Bears, same thing. Chicago Bears, don't know who their quarterback is. Probably going to be Williams, a rookie quarterback. Don't have that great of an offensive line. Uh, Rashawn Johnson and Khalil Herbert on that team. Swift had a great year with the Eagles. It was a big surprise. Um, that's why I think Barkley's going to do so good. Really don't see Swift doing that great with the Chicago Bears. Uh, wide receivers, not a whole lot of uh, wide receivers going. Jerry Judy, go to Cleveland Browns. Don't think that's going to make that big of a difference. Uh, Gabe Davis going to the Jacksonville Jaguars. I like this. I like this a lot. If you're a, if, if you're a Gabe Davis guy, you know, Davis is the same thing where, you know, two years ago, he was really like, you know, the guy would put up zero points or he'd put up like, or he'd score three touchdowns. And I think, uh, you know, with Trevor Lawrence passing the ball, 
Uh, he's probably going to be a top receiver out there. Um, Kirk is up there. Kirk is, you know, still a still a great player. I think Calvin Ridley is not going to be in Jacksonville, but I do like um, Gabe Davis going over to Jacksonville. I think he's going to get some more opportunities as there is not a true number one like there was in Buffalo with Stephen Diggs. And that is the free agent signings for right now. Um, we're still going to find some things in the NFL draft. I'm probably going to do a whole different thing, and maybe I can get, you know, James or Brian on here when we talk about the NFL uh when we talk about the NFL draft, but just a couple of guys that I just want to go over really quickly. Um, guys that are going to be, you know, pure impact players. I do like uh, Caleb Williams going to the Bears. I think Caleb Williams is going to come out and and be a stud in this league. Um, Jaden Daniels and Drake May is probably going to go to the Pats and probably going to go to the Commanders. Those two don't like either of them. I think, uh, you know, if you take them in the keeper league, they're probably good to hold on to for a flyer for a couple of years down the road, but uh, Williams is really the only guy that I like right now. If Minnesota goes out and they get McCarthy with the 12th pick, I do like McCarthy. Um, Marvin Harrison, um, looking right now that he's going to go to the Arizona Cardinals with the fourth pick. Kyler Murray, as long as he's healthy, Harrison is going to be a stud in this league. He's going to be just like his old man. Watch out. I like Marvin Harrison a lot, especially if he goes to Arizona. Grab him and grab him early. Um, couple other guys before I get out of here. Uh, Malik Neighbors. Malik Neighbors looks like at this point, you know, may go to the Giants. Neighbors has a ton of talent. Um, going to the New York Giants is going to be helpful. He's going to be the number one guy almost immediately if he goes there. Giants have bad offense, though. You know, they have a bad offense. Uh, the other guy, uh, Romeo O'Donnell, I like this guy a lot, too. But it's really dependent on where he goes. If he falls to someone like the Jets with Aaron Rodgers throwing him the ball, I do like him. Um, if the Falcons end up taking him with Kirk Cousins, I, I like him a lot there, too. And Kirk Cousins also gets a plus. But if he goes somewhere else, you know, if the Chargers end up taking him with the fifth pick, too, you know, that's a plus with Herbert. Uh, the other guy, Brock Bowers, really dependent on where he goes. I think, uh, you know, there's there were some great tight ends this year. The guy in Detroit was great rookie tight end. Bowers has uh, top potential in this league, but really has to get on the right team. Anyway, it was good seeing everyone again. My boy, I'm wearing my boy, uh, Jason Kelsey jersey. Jason Kelsey uh, spent all his time with the Eagles, uh, won a Super Bowl for us, and uh, retired. It, you know, Thank you so much, Jason, and Fletcher Cox as well. Just true Philadelphia Eagles. Um, it's going to be an interesting year for my birdies, but we got Saquon Barkley, baby. I'm looking forward to it. Everyone have a great day. Enjoy your Tuesday.